All right, so we're gonna talk about functions in PowerShell, and functions are kind of like custom-built command line tools. They're your own uh, custom-built commandlets that do something for you, especially if you need to do something over and over and over again throughout a script. It's better to just build a function so that it'll do it for you. And there's three key advantages to building a function. One of them is that you don't have to write as much code. If you're doing something over and over again, write it once, build a wrapper around that whatever that piece of code is, and then you can just call the wrapper and have it perform that function so it's less code. Another thing is that it reduces the chance of having errors in your code because you're writing less code and you only have one place that you have to worry about making sure the code is correct. Uh, a third advantage is that if you have to change this certain piece of code everywhere in your script especially if you have a script that's hundreds of lines of code then you only have to change it in one location and it will change the way it operates throughout your entire script whereas if you write the code individually throughout your entire script then you have to go and change it in every single area so let's take a real quick uh, look at a simple function in PowerShell. Basically you start the function by calling the statement function and then you give it uh, some sort of name and I just give it a commandlet style name called current time and what this does is it gets the date and then outputs it to the screen so when I run this function if I don't do anything nothing happens. This just creates the function and now this function exists. Uh, so I can even tab to it and I can run it from the, the console. So let's run it and you'll see now I get the current date. So that's good. Uh, but like I said before, sometimes you have a unique set of code that you need to run. So let's say in this case I needed a special format for the date. So I'm just going to get the months, days, and the long year. So let's go ahead and run that. And then we can run it again down here in the console. And you'll see now we have a new format. So you could imagine if we had just get date throughout uh, several hundred lines of code and then somebody comes up to you and says hey we need a different format for that date oh boy you'd be there for a while so this um, shows you how you can use a function instead of just putting hard-coded um, stuff everywhere so that's it functions in PowerShell thanks for watching